The telephone cases, 126 U.S. 1 1888, were a series of U.S. court cases in the 1870s and 1880s related to the invention of the telephone, which culminated in the 1888 decision of the United States Supreme Court upholding the priority of the patents belonging to Alexander Graham Bell. Those telephone patents were relied on by the American Bell Telephone Company and the Bell System, although they had also acquired critical microphone patents from Emil Berliner. The objector or plaintiff in the notable Supreme Court case was initially the Western Union Telegraph Company, which was at the time a far larger and better financed competitor than American Bell Telephone. Western Union advocated several more recent patent claims of Daniel Drabaugh, Elisha Gray, Antonio Miucci and Philip Reese in a bid to invalidate Alexander Graham Bell's master and subsidiary telephone patents dating back to March 1876. Had Western Union succeeded it would have immediately destroyed the Bell Telephone Company and then Western Union stood to become the world's largest telecommunications monopoly in Bell's place. The U.S. Supreme Court came within one vote of overturning the Bell patent, thanks to the eloquence of lawyer Lysander Hill for the People's Telephone Company. In a lower court, the People's Telephone Company stock rose briefly during the early proceedings, but dropped after their claimant Daniel Drabaugh took the stand and drawled, I don't remember how I came to it. I had been experimenting in that direction. I don't remember of getting at it by accident either. I don't remember of anyone talking to me of it. In this case, the court affirmed several other lower court cases Dalbert et al. v. American Bell Tell. Co. 15 Fed. Rep. 448, 17 Fed. Rep. 604, Molecular Te. Co. et al. v. American Bell Tell. Co. 32 Fed. Rep. 214, People's Tell. Co. et al. v. American Bell Tell. Co. 22 Fed. Rep. 309 and 25 Fed. Rep. 725. Well reversing American Bell Tell Co. et al. v. Molecular Tell. Co. et al. 32 Fed Rep. 214. Bell's second fundamental patent expired on January 30, 1894, at which time the gates were then opened to independent telephone companies to compete with the Bell system. In all, the American Bell Telephone Company and its successor, AT&T, litigated 587 court challenges to its patents including five that went to the U.S. Supreme Court, and aside from two minor contract lawsuits, never lost a single one that was concluded with a final stage judgment. Size. The court's decision in the telephone cases is notable for the size of the opinions delivered. Together, they occupy the entire 126th volume of the United States Reports. Topic: Notable cases. Among the notable court cases involving the Bell Telephone Company, later renamed to the American Bell Telephone Company, were those related to challenges by Elisha Gray, a principal in Western Electric, as depicted in the Elisha Gray and Alexander Bell Telephone controversy. Additionally the Bell Company became embroiled in a number of challenges from those companies associated with Antonio Miucci, as shown in the Canadian Parliamentary Motion on Alexander Graham Bell, itself a response to the United States HREs. 269 on Antonio Miucci. See also Alexander Graham Bell Bell Telephone Company Bell Telephone Memorial, a major monument dedicated to the invention of the telephone Canadian Parliamentary Motion on Alexander Graham Bell Elisha Gray and Alexander Bell Telephone Controversy Gardiner Green Hubbard, first president of the Bell Telephone Company History of the Telephone 
Timeline of the telephone Western Union <laughs>